going on guys? In this video, we're going to go over the acoustic tutorial for Miraculum. Since you're watching this, you're probably most likely a worship leader that typically leads from an acoustic guitar and you might be super confused by this song. I remember my worship pastor would bench himself from playing this song because of all the chord twists that you don't typically find in a contemporary worship song. But that is not going to be you. Let's jump right into it. So I'm going to give you two different ways to play this song on acoustic. One requires you to drop tune a half step while the other is going to be on capo six. I'll show you some of the chord shapes in each and go over the key concepts to absolutely crush this song. Then I'm gonna play them both side by side for you so you can see them in context. By the way, I have the acoustic patch available for you guys, link in the description or in the top right corner if you have a Helix, HX Stomp, HX Effects, or Podgo. Feel free to pick those up. So in method one, tune all your guitar strings a half step to E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat and play in E minor chord shapes. If you're playing with tracks, which I hope you are with all the epic orchestral instruments, we're going to hold off on verse one. In verse two, we're going to come in with the rest of the band on an E5 chord. That's a bar on the second fret A and D strings, and then pinky on the fourth fret G string. You can play the E, B, and high E strings open if you want. For the verses, you're basically going back and forth between that shape to that same shape with the pinky moving over to the fifth fret G string. Sounds like this. From that point, I'm gonna show you other chord shapes that you'll need. You'll be able to play most of these chords with one shape. It's essentially a root five bar chord with an open B and E strings. I'm gonna say the chords like they appear on the fretboard. It goes C, D, E minor, and then B major, and then C, D, E minor again. After that, we go into the turnaround. You don't have to play this run, but I'm gonna show it to you anyways. You're gonna start it off with three downstrokes on the E5, and then slide into your seventh fret A string, then fifth fret D string, back to seventh fret A string. Then it's going to be fourth fret D string, fifth fret A string, then second fret D string, and third fret A string. One quick note, try to pluck your D string with your fingernail. It adds a little bit of extra bite to the string. Sounds like this. From that point, you'll play the E5 three more times and play a similar walk down. It's going to be the same first pattern. Slide into your seventh fret A string, then fifth fret D string, back to seventh fret A string, and then fourth fret D string. This is where you'll walk up the scale. It's going to be four, five, seven on the D string, and then finishing it off with the fourth fret G string. Then you're going to repeat the walk down again and finish it off with the chugs on the E5 chord. <laughs> For verse three, we're going to be playing that exact same E5 shape, but it's just with different rhythms. The only catch here is now you're going to add the walk down we just learned in between chugs. Sounds like this. From that point, we go back into that chorus sounding part. It's going to be C, D, E minor, B major. Repeat that three times, then you're going to repeat the walk down again, finish it off with the chugs on an E5 chord. and skip the middle section since we want it to be mainly pad strings and percussion but you might have noticed the song modulated from e flat minor to a flat minor during this breakdown it's pretty cool keep that in mind going into the next section when you and the drums come back in we're going to come back in with the a5 power chord here's the next chord progression that comes next it's a f d minor i'm playing it like a d5 chord and then we're modulating back to e make sure to follow the rest of the band on the hits it goes da 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 Now 
Now we're in the walk up section. Make sure to play those stabs with the drums and bass. It's gonna be two hits here. And then it's a walk down, E minor, D, C, B major. Make sure to staccato that last chord. It sounds like this. Night section is going to be E minor, B minor, A minor, B major, E minor, and then a D sus chord that resolves to D major. It sounds like this. it goes to a 1 over 3 or a G chord with no low G note, then over to a C power chord, palm muted. After that, we open it back up again with E minor, D, C, A minor. Now this is where you interlace that walk down from earlier in this section. same progression another two times E minor D C A minor and then the walk down lick the final time you're going to palm mute the C chord for four measures Let's go over the finale ending when the lead guitar is melting faces. You're going to be playing those E5 stabs, three of those, and then play the walk down lick again, but be ready to play the C chord. Sounds like this. From that point, it goes C, D, then do another three hits on the E5 chord. Now this next walk down is going to be the exact same pattern that you learned before, just on different strings and frets. Starting on the low E string, fifth fret, it goes fifth fret E string, third fret A string, back to the fifth fret E string, then it's second fret A string and third fret E string. Finally, it's going to be an open A string and second fret E string to that final E5 chord. You put that all together and it sounds like this. Now I'm going to play that whole ending in context for you guys. That wraps things up for method one. Before I dive into method two, you should totally check out the Miraculum Survival Kit that I created for you guys. This course comes with a complete lead guitar lesson, rhythm guitar lesson, and acoustic guitar lesson. In addition, I've included five treble spots with guitar tabs and guitar profiles breaking down these different licks. Lastly, I included the electric and acoustic guitar patches for the Line 6 Helix HX Stomp. HXFX and PodGo for you. If you don't have any of these units, don't worry, I've got you covered. Included is a module where I break down the pedal and amp settings you'll need to completely nail the song. And as a bonus, I threw in the Hark the Herald Angels Sing Survival Kit as well. Link is down below. <laughs> 
Moving on to method two, we're going to be capoed on the sixth fret and we're in standard tuning. We'll be playing in A minor, C major shapes. Your root chord is going to be A minor. In the verses, your first chord is going to look like this and your second chord is going to look like this. Here's what they sound like. Now your next series of chords are going to be F, G, A minor, and E major. You can also play it like an E7 with an open D string. Now I'm going to show you the main walk down. It's three hits on the A minor, zero, three, zero, two. And then on the E string, it's three open A, first fret E string, and then three hits on the A minor chord, zero, three, zero, two, three, open D string, and second fret D string. Sounds like this. After the middle section, we're now playing in D minor shapes. Remember, we modulated in relation to the capo. The chords are D minor, B flat, G minor. I'm playing it like a G5, and then A major. From there, it's a walk down after the hits. It's A minor, G, F, E major. Up to that point, it sounds like this. Now we're in the Oh Holy Night section. The chords are A minor, E minor, D minor, A minor, and G sus. That will resolve to a G. Then it's C first inversion, and then build on the F chord. The next section is A minor, G, F, D minor with the walk downs. The finale section is going to be three hits on the A minor with the first run that we went over. After the run, it's F, E7, and then A minor. Then the last run is D string, 0, 3, 0, 2, A string, third fret, open D string, second fret A string, and then a final A minor. Put it all together, it sounds like this. Now I'm going to play both side by side so you can compare the two methods.
guys for watching. Go ahead and click here to watch the next video and we'll see you there.